channel i am going to go thrifting today and there's a mess right behind me because i just filmed a tiktok and didn't put the clothes away and there's a mess on my dresser simply because i need to clean should i be cleaning instead of thrifting absolutely i've had two different vibes lately one of them is like ultra ultra feminine and then the other one is just kind of like out there and then the stuff that i realistically wear though is just like comfy and a lot of basics but i'm also thrifting for other people today my little brother and sister have birthdays coming up next month and i thought it'd be fun to put little style bundles together for them as well i'm gonna be looking for just for my brother probably like some cool t-shirts and stuff like that maybe a jacket for my sister i want to do a couple outfits that she could wear together just a little style bundle she's turning 19 i sound like the worst <laughs> yeah she's turning 19 and she's really into like billy elish elish I don't know how to say it, but like that kind of style. So kind of like looking for some stuff kind of like that. I'll clean this later. Um, yeah, if you all want, I could like vlog me cleaning, but I don't think that you all want that. Let me know if you ever do because I'm happy to make little cleaning videos. I forgot my reusable shopping tote. <laughs> always like to take a peek at the shoes even though I rarely take shoes home I seem to sometimes find really good ones these Carl Lagerfeld vans definitely got a shout out but I left them there this mustard shirt uh, I'm gonna try not to say caught my eye too many times but it did catch my eye and then oh this is so cute I actually used to have a really really similar one but I just think it's cute this one I noticed too just because it was like a motorcycle thing which is kind of interesting um Johnny Cash I do like a band tee but I don't know if I like Johnny Cash Ooh, then I saw this Fleetwood Mac this is like really really cute I don't know about for my sister but for me because I do like Fleetwood Mac this was so cute I left her behind because she was I didn't think she would fit me at all like too small but so cute so this one I noticed because the font was really cute, but now that I'm looking at it, Canlis is just a restaurant, so it's probably somebody's work shirt. This one I was thinking about for my sister, but I'm not sure if it was like a little bit too boho for her, so yeah. This one, I wanted this like so bad. It's just pretty little thing, but like the pattern and everything is so cute. And yeah, I was seriously, seriously contemplating, so which is really cute this one definitely notice i just love a good graphic team this was like really cute okay like hear me out hear me out because i feel like you have to understand the vision so i'm gonna insert like a pinterest picture of the vision and why i think it's cute this one was just cute but i left her there but like yeah just honorable mention <laughs> This one, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Like this vintage beaded mesh top and it has a zipper too, which is nice because sometimes fitted stuff like this is hard to put on otherwise. This one I didn't get, but I just wanted to show you because I know that there's a lot of girls who really like um, Victoria's Secrets, the little bombshell robe. This one I contemplated getting, but I ended up leaving her. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. I like Disney, but I'm not even like a huge Disney person, but look, the little Cinderella and and the Snow White and then all the princesses like the phrase corresponds like what that's so cute this one I thought was cute too but I left it oh yeah because it's like a tall size bodysuit and yeah I'm not that tall this one it's just somebody's work shirt I don't know why it caught my eye though <laughs> Are you serious? How did I find Ed Hardy two thrift trips in a row? Like, what? The girls who understand the Ed Hardy revival like know exactly what I'm talking about. Just how did I get so lucky? And then this, I was really, really thinking about, but I was just like afraid that it wouldn't fit my vibe entirely. But the tag is what really caught my eye. It might be like Anthro or something, I'm not sure. This is super, super cute, and it kind of plays into that really feminine Pinterest board that I was telling you about with the shape. It's like a little free people red top. This, like, so I'm watching this video and I can see that it's totally ripped. I thought that I ripped it, so I'm glad to see that it was already ripped like that. It's just a tee. 
this okay look at this vintage forever 21 tag vintage forever 21 out in the wild um yeah cute but she was pretty ripped up so i left her behind this i on second thought i don't know why i held this up i don't like it <laughs> anymore i'm glad i didn't take it home this one i just want to let you all know like eileen fisher is the goat i left this one here because it wasn't my size but if you ever see something in your size pick it up because it literally lasts forever i used to work closely with eileen fisher when i worked at nordstrom and her stuff is so good she's also a very sustainable designer her stuff is meant to be like capsules and then you just add a few pieces each year this in retrospect i don't like the colors i'm glad that i didn't bring it home but it is free people so i just wanted to like show you all like i advocate toward thrifting like you really can find so many good brands at the thrift as well if you've never tried it before try it <laughs> this one is just like fuzzy so i wanted to show you because i saw it and touched it and then proceeded to leave it at the thrift okay if you grew up when i grew up like in middle school echo was what everybody wore so i just wanted to show okay this i really really liked like the texture and it was like really feminine kind of like giving me like french vibes this is so cute and look, it has like a Fifth Avenue theater tag as well as the Zara tag. So it's like someone used it in a play on Fifth Avenue and it's like cropped and I'm wondering if they cropped it like the costume designer or if it came like that from Zara. But I just like, I love this. I think it's so cute. This is like really cute for like Y2K babes to wear as a shirt, like these little vests. This is fake <laughs> and I didn't buy it. But I just recorded it because for a second I was like, did I come up on some Burberry? But it's definitely fake. This is really cute. Now I'm kind of pinching myself because I didn't get this. And that's like a really, really cute little Y2K vibe. But why is it that low cut? Like that part's kind of weird to me. This? Okay, I didn't take this home either actually. And I'm kind of mad about it now that I'm looking at it. Because it's just a really nice white shirt because i like how it's like fitted and has that texture in the middle to give it a little something different and like i don't know i could have cropped it and made it like a little cropped button down you know what i mean but oh well another little tesla shirt somebody probably quit their job and donated their uniform here is just like i guess a chunky soft sweater that i was looking at because you know it's sweater season oh my gosh another vintage forever 21 tag in the wild how did i find two in one go I really liked the like minimal font on this Adidas crew neck. Like, I don't know. It just is a little bit different than I'm used to seeing. So I was kind of digging that. These filas, oh my gosh, these weren't my size. So I did not get them, but these are amazing. And then some cowboy boots. I already have black cowboy boots, but yeah. This, oh, this is like really pretty. Like, I don't know why I didn't get that. Maybe it's not my size, but I love the pattern of that dress. I just think that's really, really pretty. This vintage coach, like, hi, this was like six bucks. I didn't get it though. I don't know why. Here's a Bentley tee. I don't know why I was seeing like all the like car dealership tees. And this one actually, like I was thinking about getting it, but then I was like, why would I literally get that? I don't know. <laughs> The jewelry section, they usually have pretty good jewelry here, so I always like to take a little peek. And then the skirts, this skirt was like, okay, she doesn't look like much, but hear me out. Look, Seattle suede, like, I don't know, I'm from Seattle, so that was just interesting. This one, I am like obsessed, like, you'll have to stay tuned for part two for the try on, because I feel like on the hanger, you're probably like, what? But I swear, that's really cute. And then this one I didn't get, but I just wanted to show because I know a lot of people like these anthropology brands. It's like a $20 leather jacket that they're selling, suede. And again, you can just literally thrift anything that your heart desires. So much stuff. Also, shout out to the lighting right now. Oh, I can't wait to show you. I'm going to show you all when I get home. I usually do the haul video separate. Literally got so much stuff. You can't even see like the best stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I have my tripod, so I'm gonna go take a like Instagram like photo of my outfit because my outfit's cute and I haven't really been posting on Instagram that much anymore. Mostly because like the algorithm makes me want to cry. Like, but you can go follow me. It's the Joy N if you want to see like some of my fits and stuff like that. And yeah, once I get home, I'll show you my haul. <laughs> 